Yo guys, in this video what I'm going to be doing is take you through a step-by-step -step tutorial of Shopify dashboard to make sure that you get off to the best start that you possibly can. I'm going to be taking you through the best apps you're going to need, your product page and the best thing about it is timestamps are below so if you feel like you're a little bit more advanced you can just skip to that part. So as always stay tuned because this video is going to be a banger. Yo guys and welcome to the tutorial. So at the start I'm just going to be breaking down what Shopify is and really going into detail in terms of why you should be using Shopify right now and then I'll be going into a few more advanced things. Now I recommend you guys actually stay tuned if you are new to dropshipping or if you've got a little bit more experience because there's going to be a few things that you miss upon. A lot of times I see questions in our Facebook group and they're literally repeating the basic things that get explained in a lot of videos. And the reason for that is because you probably think you're a little bit more experienced than you actually are. So listen to a few of these things that you're going to save you a lot of time and money in the long run. So first things first, what is Shopify? Now Shopify is a hosting platform in which you can create a website fairly quick and in a couple of days you'll be able to sell products all around the world. Now when you go in to create Shopify, you're not going to be able to find any products or anything like that on there. You need to go to other platforms such as AliExpress to find them and that's where you're going to import the product onto your Shopify store and then you're going to sell that to your customer. So when we do product research, the tool I like to use is a tool called Dropship Rabbit. Now I've just taken the time out and found this product. This product actually matches most of my criteria. So I went through the criteria which I'm going to attach to PDF below and it meets four out of five of the requirements. So I decided to use this product. Now I'm going to be making at least $23 profit per, per sale, which is pretty cool. It's above my $15 margin mark what I like to set. And I also get the content here for my product page as well. Now, not only do I get the content here, I can also have a look at stores that are selling this item. And I can also have a look at the ads that other stores are running. Now, I definitely recommend not selling any products unless there's other stores running the product, right? We don't want to be the first ones in the market. We want to ride the wave and just improve on what people have done. In my opinion, this website's very bland and I can add and improve on this a lot more. But these guys must have been making money at one point and there's a reason for that because the product is good but I can improve on that maybe I can add an upsell to increase my average order value maybe I can add some higher quality uh, product images maybe I can get rid of the spammy trust badges here and get rid of the hurry up timers and make it look a little bit more clean maybe that will improve my conversion rate which then makes my website one step better or maybe I can just have better customer service so that's the way I like to treat my product research First things first, what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at some suppliers real, real quick and make sure that we can find ones where we can definitely make that $15 to $20 margin. So these guys are selling the product for around $20 to $33, that's the maximum price you're going to pay. If I go here, I'm in there for free shipping as well. So I'll apply that and that means that my product price is going to, be, is going to cost me $33 maximum. Let me pick the variant as well and the color. So for this variant and the color to go over the bed is going to be $23, $23. And I could also add another variant maybe for this color as well instead. Maybe I could go for the rounder ones because customers prefer that. It all depends on testing. But for now, I recommend only having a maximum of three variants. So the color doesn't really matter. The only variant that I recommend that would really matter is the size. So I'd probably go small, medium, and then large as well. So my maximum price is going to be $33, and my lowest price is going to be $23. So that is that when it comes to the products. First things first, we're going to have to sign up for Shopify. So I'm just going to type my email real, real quick. email.com now I'm messing around with you I'm messing I want to skip this part out while I just sign in so now what's going to happen after you sign up to Shopify is it's just going to take you through a couple of steps that you need to sign up to so when you get into here you actually get a free 14 day trial now you ha actually have to pick a plan before you can open up your store but well, you still get that 14 day free trial so here you just want to put anything uh, blah, 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 blah. 
and you just want to go to the next step or you can skip this step then you need to put in your address now after you sign in you're going to see your store name here now remember that because that's going to get very important because we'll need to change that with the theme that we're using because that's actually going to show up on the inside of the store but the great thing about it is we can change it whenever we like so first things first we need to get a product and what we're going to do is we're going to actually log into Oberlo and we're going to sync the product using Oberlo so let's just sign into Oberlo now so we're going to sign up we're going to put in our email which needs to be the same email as the one that was on your store so when we get to this section here what we're going to need to be doing is adding your apps and one of the apps we like to use is Oberlo so we're just going to add Oberlo over here so add Shopify already recommends Oberlo and we're just going to add in the product I'll just delete these tabs here for now because as always being a drop shipper you're going to have tons of tabs and then we're going to add the app here and we also need to make sure that we get the Chrome extension as well for now let's install the app So we need to create a password for Oberlo. Welcome to your Shopify dashboard. This is going to be your base camp for everything going forward. Now, once you sign into Shopify, don't worry about your name here because you can always change your store name. The way you do that is by adding domains in the future. But before we get into anything like that, the main thing you guys need to understand about Shopify is that Shopify is just your hosting platform, right? It's just a platform in which you can put on your products and it's basically a blank canvas. The way you add artwork to that canvas, if that's how you want to put it, is you want to use apps and add-ons to that to kind of spruce up your Shopify store and make it look a little bit different. First things first, before we get into Shopify, we really need to make sure that we've done some due diligence and some product research. A tool that I like to use is a tool called Dropship Rabbit, and this is a tool in which you can go through and find winning products on demand. So dropshiprabbit.com is something I definitely recommend. When we're going through Dropship Rabbit, I'm just looking to my criteria, which I've actually attached below in the cheat sheet. Within this criteria, it's an easy way where you can do just to look at products by eye and it saves you having to go start a website, start pushing ads on a product we don't know that has the manager. So I've taken the liberty of making sure I do the right due diligence and product research before I actually advertise a, a product to make sure that I've got the best opportunity for success. So here I've decided to use the anti-mosquito pop-up net. The reason is because I can really see myself building a website around this store. Because there is some countries that have mosquitoes all year round, I'm gonna have slight demand all year round and I'm also gonna have periods of time where I can expand into other countries and sell and scale very, very aggressive in other countries as well. So I've chosen this mosquito mosh net. Before we get into advertising it, we first of all need to find suppliers. Now Dropship Rabbit's really cool because it means we can just select suppliers on the go. And we've got a selection of three suppliers that we can choose from. Now going through these suppliers, all I'm gonna be doing is just making sure that they have great reviews here. I won't go over a supplier that doesn't have good reviews. So these guys at the moment, they wouldn't pass my test because they don't have very good reviews. I'll go on to the next supplier. These ones are quite quite a bit better, they've got 62 orders, but they've only got seven reviews. Now even though all their reviews are very good, I wanna check to see this last supplier and see if I can improve on that. And these guys are a lot better. So I'm gonna X off that. These guys not only have great reviews, but they've also got some great content too. So they've got actually got a video as their first image, which is great because we can actually use this as our first video ad as well. Now, going down, They've got four out of seven um, star views with 429 orders and 38 reviews. That's great. They've also got other variants and other colors that we can use. So I'm only going to use one color because I don't want to give my customers too many options. So I'll pick the one that looks more appealing. This one's actually got a lady in there as well. So I can actually use that as my product image. And I can now select three variants. So as you can see, when we go through the variants, it changes the price, right? So that means that you're going to need to change your price alongside these variants. So I'm going to pick small, medium and large. I'm just going to double check for these countries to make sure that the shipping is fine. And it also gives me a predicted delivery date as well. So I now know that I can do AliExpress standard shipping and I can also do e-packet shipping as well. 
For now, I'm going to pick AliExpress standard shipping because I just trust that a little bit more. Even though I have to pay the um, $3.60, it's a little bit more consistent than ePacket at the moment. So I'm going to pick AliExpress standard shipping, which puts my cost of goods around about $36 maximum and minimum is going to be $26. So I now need to figure out whether I can sell this product for $15 to $20 extra. So I want to find a different website that's selling this product for at least $37, right? So let's go back to Dropship Rabbit. Let's go down, have a look at some stores selling this item and see if they can sell it for at least $57. Oh, sorry, at least $37. Now have a look at this. This is great. These guys are actually selling for $60, which does the job and it means I'm going to be able to sell the product for the same price as well. Now, I wouldn't just stop my due diligence there. If I was genuinely building a store, I'd go and I'd get at least three to five competitors. So I really know that there's demand and I'd go and have a look at some more video ads as well. For now, I'm also going to use Dropship Rabbit to give me a head start. And I'm going to have a look at one of the video ads just to make sure that this product has um, higher perceived value and it also has someone else that has made an engaging video ad. So let's have a look and see. So this one's amazing. It's got 4.8k view comments, 31,000 likes and this would definitely be an ad that I'd run. It's only been running from May so that's great as well. And let's have a look at the ad. The ad's pretty engaging as well. This guy's definitely just stolen the ad and put his logo there as well. So he's done well to get that many likes and comments. Now, let's click off here. And let's get this product onto our store. So first things first to get the product onto our store, we need to go to our website and we need to go down to apps here. Now apps is where you're going to be able to download all the add-ons to like spruce up your store. I only recommend having up to three, like three to five apps maximum, otherwise your store is going to get very, very slow. So you want to download apps like Oberlo, you want to download apps like Vitals and Debutify. That's going to give you the best head start when it comes to adding uh, different apps that won't just slow down your website. Now here is Oberlo. This is where you're going to process orders, manage orders, and you're also going to be able to see a profit margin as well once you start getting sales. And it's where you also import products, which is great. So here in Oberlo, you can see you've got your dashboard. This is what we're on right now. And it's giving me step-by-step -step tasks to go through, which makes it really simple when it comes to building out your store. The next thing you're going to have is manage products. This is where our product's going to come when we import it. It's going to come in underneath our import list. The next thing is managing orders. So when you get orders, you're gonna get it here. You can also get inbox notifications from Oberlo. One thing people don't really talk about is in all of these Shopify apps, you really wanna get used to using the support problems here. Because I see a lot of people in Facebook groups posting issues that they have or comment on YouTube videos about issues that they're having that can genuinely get answered by just using the support options in the bottom right. Now, let's get our store product, well, let's get our first product imported. So we're going to go over to the AliExpress link here. We're then going to go to our Chrome extension, which we downloaded earlier. So just go to Oberlo uh, Chrome extension and you'll be able to download that. I'm going to click Chrome extension and I'm going to click import to list. Now that's going to get working and as you can see in the bottom left, and it's going to get import in the product. As you can see here, successfully imported. Now I'm going to open my import list and it's going to show me my product here. Now you want to be very, very careful because as soon as you click go, it's going to import this directly to your store, right? So you need to go, you need to double check on the description. This is fine because we can change this. The product is fine because we can change this. But one thing that's very interesting is the amount of variance, right? We can't physically add a variant. We can only take it away from the imports that, we, that we're importing. So what I like to do in this stage is I'll unclick all of them. I'll just select the variants that I want. So as you can see here, it's got one menu selected here. But if we go back over here, we only want a small, which is 1.2, a medium, which is 1.5, and a large, which is 1.8. So I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna first of all have a look at the variants that I want. So I want this bubble color, which is called, I don't even know how to pronounce that, but it's called Summit. I'm not gonna butcher that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely not going to butcher that name, but it begins with S. So I'm going to go down, I'm going to find it, it's here. So here's my colors, and I just need to find the small, medium, and large variants. 
So as you can see here, small, medium, large. I'm not gonna select these three variants here. And then I'm gonna go ahead, check out the images. I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna add more images cause I want some more images in my store. So I don't really want these, they're not too great. I explain what the product does. Neither is this one. But I like these ones where it's actual people using the product. So I'm gonna add all of them. And the ones that I'm gonna get rid of are ones that really look different in terms of my variants. So ones like this one, uh, ones like this one. And then I'm just gonna import all of these to the store. So as you can see, Obola is getting to work there. You don't have to do no fancy coding or anything like that. And it's gonna import it directly to my store. So if I just X off Obola now, we don't really need that. I X off AliExpress because we don't really need that anymore either. Obola is already gonna have saved the link. I'm gonna save Dropship Rabbit for now because we're gonna to need to create this product page. And if I go over to here, go down to where it says products. Over the products, you're gonna see your product page here. But before I get into that, I just wanna explain all these tabs for you. So on the left hand side, you're gonna have your home tab. Home tab is where you're gonna see like your dashboard and it is customizable as well so you can click here and start dismissing things and just really make your home tab the best thing for you on the left hand side here you're going to have your orders so once your orders come through you're going to have them there you're also going to see your abandoned checkout emails come through here as well so it's always great to follow with your customers and see why they abandoned the checkout if you don't have abandoned checkout sequences set up already next thing is products so products is what we were just in earlier and that's where it's going to show all of your inventory Right, you can go through all of your products and check one by one. You can also edit the product page, or if you click here, you can preview the store as well. Now, a good way of filtering down products is you can filter them and make them unavailable and available when you're editing them. And there's tons of different things you can do to customize in here as well. Don't worry about any of these, such as transfers and inventory. The next one is collections. So collections where you can make a collection for like your home page, then maybe your top sellers and your buyers, like your um, like discount sales that you have or maybe like a summer sale collection as well. They're great things to add. Gift cards are great as well if you have a physical store. It's something that Shopify have recently updated. Then you're gonna have your customers. So all of your customer emails are gonna come here and you can actually also import your customer emails if you've got a physical store already or a different store. You can import all your customers there. The next one is analytics. So analytics is gonna be an overview of your dashboard. What people don't often talk about is when you're running ads, um, especially when you're running influence ads as well as normal ads, you want to kind of have a custom link in there as well. So you will see the different links in here and you'll be able to tell uh, where, your most, where most of your traffic is coming from. And you'll really be able to start optimizing for like getting the best traffic method. So let's say you're running Pinterest ads, you also want in Facebook ads, you can check in your dashboard to make sure that the traffic that you're getting is from whether it's coming from Facebook or whether it's coming from Pinterest. So this is very, very good as well. Now reports are exactly the same. It's a way of creating detailed reports of your profit margins, your customers, customer behaviors, finance and whatnot. And live view is when you start sitting here for hours you probably, you probably spend a lot of time here when you're getting your first sale. I remember I used to spend a lot of time waiting and really watching to make sure whether I got my first sale or not, and I'm following the customer through. Then you've got your marketing. You don't want to worry about that. That's all rubbish, because we're going to be using Facebook ads and the marketing section isn't the best in Shopify just yet. Then you've got your discounts. This is where you can put discount codes for customers to come back and make a purchase at a lower price. I recommend setting these up and adding them to your emails. Uh, if you want me to make a video about that, I'd be more than happy to do so. And the last thing is apps. So apps is where you can add all of your apps. And that's where we added a burlo earlier. And a bonus one is your online store. We're going to be getting used to that in a second. So don't worry about that for now. First things first, let's go to our products tab. Let's take a look at our product just to make sure it's imported correctly. So the product page is all imported from a burlo. That's great. Well, if we check out our store, one thing that is missing is it's missing a bit of it's missing a bit of a feel, right? This one really looks a bit fraudulent. So um, it, let's get a let's get a logo together and let's start building out our product page to make it look a little bit more trustworthy. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to a website called Canva. I'm going to build out my logo. So 
So we're gonna go here, we're gonna type in logo. And then we're just gonna go down and we're just gonna add a basic one here. And we don't wanna make our name anything too complicated. And when we're figuring out a name, the best thing that I like to do when I figure out a name is use a website called Business Name. Generator. So I like to go to businessnamegenerator.com and this allows me to actually type in keywords and this will allow me to not only find a name but also find a domain as well. So let's have a look at and see what domains we can find. So our store is going to be for mosquitoes um, and it's also going to be about protection. So let's try so that's the mosquito killer. Let's try mosquito protection. Or maybe, well, it's also to do with sleeping. Let's have a look at some of these names. And if I don't like this one, I'll go for sleeping. So we've got protect sex. So we're going to go for mosquitoelite.com and when we go to download our domain what i like to do is i just like to go back to shopify go back to my home section and just add the domain directly from shopify it saves me having to go into godaddy and do all that stuff there especially when it comes to re-downloading your domain um, i just like to go straight through here and just copy and paste the name in here so we're using mosquitoelite.co so i'll copy it here paste it here There's no way I'm paying $27 for a video. <laughs> so let's go back and have a look and see if we can find some other domains in here. Because there's no way I'm paying $27 for a domain for an example um, thing. I'm not running ads. I'd have to run ads for this if I was going to pay $27. Let's have a look. Kia Catalyst. We don't want to be the same Kia Catalyst. Mosquito Hideaway, I like that. Here we go. So now we're going to purchase our domain and get the ball rolling. So now we've purchased our domain. That's everything sorted out in terms of purchasing our like domain for our website, which now means we can also change the name as well. So after we just confirm payment here, so now we've got our domain, that's everything sorted out in terms of attaching it. All we've got to do now is just go back and double check that we have our domain. So I'm just gonna go to, gonna go to general, general. I'm gonna go down, change the name of our store first to to the name of our domain. So it's Mosquito Hideaway and that's going to change the name on in the top left just so i know for future reference and also some themes they actually change up here as well so it's definitely good to change now that. once i've changed the name i'm going to go store, down i just want to change go back the name of our and store first go to navigation to, and make sure that my domains are changed sorry domains here I'm going to see that your mosquito hideaway domain needs to be connected to the name of our domain so it's mosquito so hideaway here is i click change primary and domain that's going to change the name i'll just say it's mosquito left, hideaway just so com. i know for future reference and, and i'm going to say some themes, your ssl they actually will change a while here as well so it's definitely Especially to change you've that. just bought your domain you need to make sure you go to your gmail and um, accept it accept the uh, links that you've been sent just to allow it to um just to allow it to verify now all of that sorted out, I'm going to go back to my online store, I'm going to go down to my general settings here, it needs to be changed as well. Now once I go out and refresh, it's going to change this name here in the top left to Mosquito Hideaway and that just makes it a little bit easier to search for your store and also some themes. It's very important that you change it because some themes, your store name in the top left actually changes as well when you go to build out your website. So now we've done everything on the back end, 
what we're gonna need is a logo right so now we're on canva guys and this is how i created my logo i didn't do anything too complicated i just kept it really basic and really simple i don't like to over complicate logos because that can really store you when it gets to making your store the logo isn't something to really worry about but i know a lot of people end up procrastinating on their logo and that's what sets them back on their shopify journey so i recommend just creating a really basic logo and if you want to get a little bit more fancy with it just go over to elements and you can add tons of different elements in there i added one of these gradients here i probably would have swapped it to this gradient instead uh, that would have made it a little bit more clearer but i recommend just going through gradients and adding a background sweep or something like that just to make your second part of your store really stand up now here you can see you can also add logos here so you can add some of these logos and that will allow you to create um, a more branded feel as well most of these are paid as you go over in the, into the future and getting a paid one is more than worth it now here's a cool thing that not a lot of people talk about and this is how to actually make sure that your logo looks really presentable on your website now as you can see here once i download it and i've already downloaded one for an example you're going to see that it's going to come as a large square and that's how it's going to download right what i recommend doing is first of all downloading it as a basic file so downloading it as a large square and then if you're on macbook just go down and you want to crop it to where it looks like this shape here so to where the lines come just above the back so the way you do that is when you download the paid one is more than worth it as you can see now got this here's a cool on. thing that not a lot of people well, talk about over here and this now, is how this is really to actually make it, sure guys. that your logo you you really you want to click on your here. website now as you can see then here you want to click once here, i download it so it's going to allow you one for example and if i go you're going to see that it's going to come as a large it so it looks and that's how it's going to download this right that way it's going to give me a logo when my logo first of all download the so as a basic over here, file so downloading it as a large square and, and then if you're on Mac logo just, just go do down and you want to crop it to where it looks like now, this shape here so to where one. the lines come just to make sure it's just right. above the back and so the way you do that here, when you download crop, it that's going to crop down my logo my, really um, nice and tight which is going to allow me to go over to my first page over here and you're going to see exactly what I mean in a second because that's going to be very very important and it's going to be a big difference between how trustworthy your website looks but that's the logo out of the way let's go ahead take a look at our website and see what we can do and how we can edit the website so let's go down to online stores next one we're going to do is click customize that's going to bring up our back end of our site now when you first come on it's going to be on the computer what i recommend you do is just go over to the left here and change it to mobile view because mobile view is going to be the most important as you can see i've already uploaded my logo here i just want to make it a little bit larger and see which one looks the best so i'm going to do it like this it's not really it's already took up the whole space but i'm going to make it like this which is a little, it looks a little bit more perfect professional but if i go to edit here or sorry change i changed to the logo how it looks when it was originally downloaded you can see here that the logo is going to be very very small right and that's that maximum height so let's go to the smallest height that's how small the logo is and that's the maximum height but after i've cropped it i go to the top here select it's going to load and it's going to load a lot larger and a lot clearer to the website now one thing i'd actually mention is you want to make your swoop so whatever your like highlight is or your emoticon color you want to make that the third color of your website so once we go back here that's going to be your header the next section down is we have this welcome section here and within this section you want to just double click on that then you want to change your welcome slide now me personally because i'm doing a one product store i want to make every image on the website just about the about the product right so i'm going to add this image here I'm going to select it and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change this slideshow to take off any arrows or dots just to make it a little bit more clearer then I'm going to click on the content here go down sometimes it looks better when you don't show overlay because it makes it look a little bit clearer but for this one it looks a little bit dodgy so I'm going to just click show overlay just so it makes it look a little bit more professional welcome you want to change this to 
So you can even change this to 100%. Um, I was going to put 100% satisfaction guarantee. I'm going to put. Worlds. I'm going to put here. I'm going to make this a capital. Probably would also test doing this all in capitals as well. This will make it look a little bit more clearer. And then. I'm going to put here. I'm going to put. Our unique technology safe asleep without having to worry about this pesky mosquitoes. Then what you want to do here is you want to test make it a little bit bold. So go in here, make it bold. I'm gonna go for no bold. You can even make it italics if you like. So I like the italics. Then center alignment, I like to put it to the left usually. Just to make it look a little bit cleaner. I'll change the label from shop now to Get yours. And then you want to change it from collections to products. And then you want to select your product. Then button style. I like to use full just because it matches my color. But I'll mess around with it and change different styles depending on my website. That's one thing people don't really talk about. You can really just have a sleeker website just by changing the color of the button. But for now, I'm going to keep it like this because I need to change my colors as well. So once you go back, you then have your next section, which is your featured content. And what you want to do here is you want to type in something like our story. Our story. And really create something positive about your website. So you want, you want to create your brand your product into a brand. So you really want to go into detail about your brand, go into detail about your uh, brand story and really open up your website. So <clears throat> you want to put hardware is a brand, cares about customers and we aim to deliver everyone a great night's sleep. Put here, I'll put here, and I'll put here, find a way. So you want to put something like that make with bold or italics I'm gonna make that italics make this section bold like that like that text alignment to the left now we're gonna put it to the center text medium like that button style yeah need a button and that's going to allow us to have a little bit more of a story to the website and as you can see it's already given it more of a branded feel the next thing when we need to come to featured products we don't need this section as of yet but let's say you're building a full-on one product store i recommend having a featured product section because you can upsell and cross sell tons of different products with your um with your product collection list we're going to get rid of that as well but as you start to build collections you can add your collection titles here and that's going to allow you to add more bulk to your website as well. When it comes to example products, this is where I'd also put my product in here, just in case people come back to the main um, to the main website. Then you want to always make sure they can easily get back to making a purchase. So I'm going to change the featured product. I'm going to click select. I'm going to go down, select my product, and that's going to allow me to select my product here. Now you just want to change a few of these things. Enable image zoom, I definitely do that. 
what I need to do is I'd go away and I'd make the image a little bit more presentable drop down is a bit better so you want to get rid of product description in there as well really make this page really presentable because it's going to be someone what when they come back to their website they've already going to be in, they've already going to have been to your product page and they're just going to be coming back to just read a little bit more about your site so you want to drive them straight back to their conversion so i'll go dynamic checkout button and theme settings i'll get rid of the sharing sections that's going to take up more real estate And now it looks really clean when they come down to purchase. One thing we need to do is we definitely need to change that product name. Uh, subscribe to our newsletter. So what we want to do is go down in our newsletter section. We want to put subscribe to our newsletter. Put today on our amazing To stay up to date and receive, and receive. Yep, your boy can't spell <laughs> and receive amazing offers. Subscribe to our newsletter today. Arrow. I'll keep it as an envelope. <clears throat> the next section below here is you're going to have our guarantee, satisfaction rate, and loads of different guarantees here. So here you want to put when it comes to here, the great thing about this is you can actually change your icons. So clicking here is going to take you to a website called Font Awesome, and you can select and really add some cool um, icons in here. And there's tons and tons of different ones to choose from so you're going to have loads of different ones this is a great one when it comes to um, allergies and stuff like this i'm going to check into that to here it says allergens so i'm just going to click this one then i'm going to go down and i'm going to select one of these i need to find out the name so the name is medical so we'll go with a solid one going to type in allergies copy icon name go back to here go to here go to here and one thing we like to do is we offer we actually offer contactless shipping contactless shipping or you can say um, you can go into detail about the current situation so you can put um, um, so you can put like boxes because there's a fact that uh, during shipping that the allergen of the current situation only actually maintains on a product for 24 hours so you can put um, like allergies only stay on the product for 24 hours I'm just gonna put contactless shipping here shipping and then go down I'm gonna move on to the next one I'm gonna put I'm gonna put in this one here. Worldwide delivery. These are the questions that's gonna be going through people's um, people's um, that people's heads when they're coming down. The next thing that's gonna go. So we're gonna have contactless shipping, worldwide delivery. Um, I'm gonna put. Uh, I don't really like the rocket. I would usually change it to something else, but for now, we're just gonna put free shipping. And here, we're gonna put ninety-nine point seven customer. 
satisfaction. No, no, put seven customer satisfaction. So that's what I do at the bottom of the website. I'd really like to take time into this one though and really put more effort into it because it's it's real estate on your website and every part of your website you should be spending a lot of time on it. Now the next thing I want to do is go back. Actually, I'll probably get rid of the uh, free shipping. Probably get rid of this section, make it look a little bit smoother. So that one looks a bit better there. Let's go back. Now we've got the about us section. One thing you want to do when it comes to the beautify theme is you want to get rid of this power by so power by Shopify. So we're going to save this for now before we move on to our product page. We're then going to go back. And then we're going to go down to here. And here you've got two options, right? You can customize your website, or you can go to actions. You can go down to edit code. And we want to go to our liquid theme. So we're going to go down, we're going to type in liquid here. And we want to go to the theme liquid. So here we've got layouts, password liquid, theme liquid. And we want to type in command F. So as you can see here, once I click command F, it shows up here. And we just want to type in powered by, as long as I spell that right. So guys, this YouTube life ain't easy. My camera just died, um, but I'm gonna take you through everything you need to do after you've took out the Shopify, um, the Powered by Shopify logo at the bottom. So in my page, when we go to the bottom, obviously you're gonna see the basically the finished progress of the page. But at the bottom, you can see there's no Powered by Shopify and there is no um, Powered by Debutify in there. So if we go over here and we go to online store we then go to customize store we'll be able to see the bottom of the website we'll be able to see there is no power by shopify or anything like that in there so if i click customize you go down to the bottom uh, we're not going to see no power by shopify or anything like that at the bottom here all you can see is the copyright and then mosquito hideaway and that link's going to take you straight back to the top now after we scroll up here we've got the contact the shipping the worldwide delivery and the 99.7 customer satisfaction we can also go to the about us section in the footer so that's the left hand side and the footer and that's going to show us everything we need to do in terms of the footer section in the footer section of the page you're going to be able to see the about us and um, be able to create your story here i also recommend adding your emoticon i wouldn't actually have my logo in there i just have my emoticon in there as well just to make it look a little bit more official and then you can get rid of your phone number in there as well to streamline your customer service now the next thing you can do is you can add your newsletter here so you just put subscribe to your newsletter here you can put a little subhead in, sub in there to drive more consumers to your newsletter now before you worry about creating your product page or anything like that you need to take a look at your colors so what i like to do is i like to go and these are the only colors i change so i'll only change the button the buy button links and accents the sales tag and the buttons there the buy buttons there again and obviously the button there again and then i'll go back and i'll also change the checkout button this is where most of you guys actually forget you need to change the checkout buttons because if your corners are changing that's going to affect your customer conversion rate now once you go back here once you change your colors there what i recommend doing is going to a website here and over in the top right hand corner go in and googling um, best colors for trust on a website so if you those of you those of you guys that don't know the best color to build trust on a website is actually blue so i like to use different variants of blue but if you want to see some color schemes and stuff like that i go to 99 designs and 99 designs will give you different color schemes to use and this will allow you to build up more trust on your website now i don't recommend changing any background colors or anything like that just change the buttons it's going to make your website a lot cleaner and a lot smoother now what i like to do is i like to change different shades of buttons so maybe i'll go a bit darker blue maybe a little bit of a lighter blue and i'll test different colors on there but for now i'm going to just use my original color and if you can see here once i change the button of the 
um, the bottom collar it's going to affect my collars there as well now I'm just going to go back here change back to my original collar over here and I'll go back and then I'm going to start working on my website I recommend deleting all social media from your website because it's great to have the links there but it takes up a lot of real estate so I like to delete all of my social media on here unless I've actually got a growing Instagram account or something like that I'll add it there Favicon you want to add a Favicon that's very important um, so the way you do that is you go back to Canva and you'll just download the individual image of what you're going to use um, so for now we don't actually have a Favicon but in the like if I was scaling this website I'd have a like mosquito logo or something like that and I'd put that as the Favicon there or you can actually create smaller favicons by going to a website called favicon.com and that will allow you to create your text and turn it into a favicon which is great now car what i like to do is i'll delete the dynamic checkout button i do like it sometimes but other times i don't really like it because it will affect my tracking because all the times people are clicking dynamic checkout and some people are clicking just add to car you're going to have loads of checkouts and add to carts and it gets a bit messy with the tracking um, then when it comes to review app so this is the review app i've actually downloaded which is looks reviews and we'll get into that in a second advanced settings this is very good what you can do here is as you can see my header sti is sticky so i always put it there i also enable transparent header and announcement i usually only show on the home page and i hide it on mobile so that allows me to keep my page looking really smooth if it's a current situation that we've got now what i'll do is i'll add the announcements there and with the current situation what i'll put is um i'll put the alert that we've got so it's a boom well, something like that or i'll put free shipping over 60 dollars because what that means is that that's going to affect our shipping that we have we'll be able to offer free shipping over 60 dollars but for now i'll just offer i'll actually offer the free shipping over $60 $60 and I'll allow that there and I'll keep it small vendors and everything like that you want to keep that normal you want to hide everything on mobile as well current selector you want to allow that um, and leave that open article grid you want to allow that as well you want to keep this all the same um, back to top button you want to do that but you also want to hide it on mobile because it's going to take up too much real estate and general you mostly want to get rid of these but for now we'll keep that continue browsing link we don't need that we want to put it to our um continue browsing link we want to change that we want to put that as our straight back to our product page and i want to take this here and that's everything done for advanced now once we go back to the settings page here we want to change this image make sure the image is smooth the our story section we want to make sure that's done properly as well and in here we want to do our product page now the product page is very important and you'll be able to see what I've done here. When we go to our product page, I've done something very interesting. So how I actually created this product page is I went to the mosquito page here. Now I've copied and pasted the mosquito page example just so I can keep the giphys and I changed the text because this text is very basic. But one thing I like to do is I like to have a big, like any big player in the game that you've got. So you've got blend play, uh, blend jet, high smile, you've got other companies like Happy Skin Co and I always try to copy their landing pages. As you can see, these guys only have three sentences. The longest sentence that they've got is around about five sentences before they break into another image. So I like to do the exact same thing. So here, as you can see, I've got three sentences that break into an image. I've got five sentences. Then I want to break into another image here before I move into the Giphy. Then I've got clear bullet points. I've got bold points here. I'll break into another Giphy. And what you want to do is you want to always keep it emotional. So here I'm talking about protection. As you can see here, I'm also offering them other sizes as well, saying it's also ideal for king size beds. Then I'm gonna break into it here and also make sure it's big enough for adults. And one thing I'll also do is I'll read through the AliExpress reviews, which is what not a lot of people do. So I'll go in here, I'll go to Alibaba, um, I'll go into Amazon. I won't use Alibaba in fact, because that's for wholesale. I'll then go into one of my AliExpresses here and I'll go through and I'll read through the reviews. So I'll go in here, I'll go down and I'll just go to the review section. Let me make sure these guys have enough reviews. Yep. So I'll go over here. I'll start reading through the reviews. So awesome, worked in seven days. Um, and you want to check and see if there's any problems. Modern sugar gliders, blah, blah. 
very roomy wheelchair so there isn't any issues with this particular product but if there was so i've seen one review and i've actually got it on my product page at the moment um i'll show you that later on and what the review basically said is that there was no instruction guide for setting up the product so what i'd do then if that was a major issue i'd go and i'd add an instruction guide and i'd send that in the confirmation email with the product just to give customers an extra step-by-step -step process that they can use to sell the product now, as you can see this product is fairly simple but if people still need instructions i'll send them the instruction guide as well next thing you want to do is you want to have 13 reviews as you can see here one of them says small hole so i need to i'll get rid of that review and one of them also says they needed a instructions so as you can see there's no guide on how to close the item so i'd give them instruction guides to in the confirmation email but as you can see here with the title what i actually did was i didn't actually name it to the product page right so a lot of people name this after the product so they'll put um, mosquito net or something like that but people that are coming to the website they already know it, they're coming from mosquito net so i don't need to waste that real real estate i'll actually make it a little bit more informational and i'll actually provide a little bit more value by using this real estate here to fire up some more of the emotional heartstrings so here i just put something very basic no more mosquitoes so people know that they're coming to get away from purchasing um to get away from mosquitoes if you go through here all of my website images are the same so the website isn't scrolling up and down they're also they're also compressed and the way i did that is i went to a website called um, compress my image and i compressed that that's actually also going to be in the cheat seat below too now as you scroll down you're going to see we've got giffies we've got points in bold as well we've also made more points in bold as well and we've kept it really really smooth right we didn't make anything too complex we didn't have too much images we just kept it smooth and easy to the eye now if you go down here we've got testimonials so we've got testimonials from customers now what i like to do is i actually like to go and i like to find amazon amazon testimonials and image testimonials and also blog post testimonials as well and i'll make the most of this page as well because you want to make use of every single piece of real estate on your website after that we've got that obviously back to our contactless shipping and our quick clicks now at the bottom we also have currency conversions which is very very important so i'm going to go back here i'm going to go back again to my settings let me just save that and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you one very very cool thing which nobody talks about nobody at all right i get a lot of questions in facebook groups people asking like why am i getting loads of initiate checkouts but no purchases why am i getting loads of add to carts but no purchases now the reason you're getting loads of add to carts but no purchases is because when people check out we're using apps like um like bold multi-currency converter now i'm just going to show you really quick how to set that up so all you do is you download bold multi-currency converter the link for that's going to be below and when you click add currencies you're going to add your currencies here and that's going to convert them on the product page right but it's not going to convert them on the checkout so if we go to initiate um to initiate checkout it's not going to convert them so the way you make sure that your initiate checkout converts to the their local currency as well is you need to go to payments then you go to manage payments then you're going to go down you can see we can enable all of these things here we want to make sure all of them are enabled and we want to go to currencies and we want to add all of the currencies in here as well right so you can see here it's going to give us our converted price you can see here it's going to give us our converted price you can see here, here it's going to give us our converted price and that's all our checkout we can also round up the pricing to make it a little bit easy for conversion rates and then we can also add our payout dates and what i like to do is i like to add extra fraud present prevention options here as well just to prevent fraud and i'll change uh, my customer statement description to our product name as well so i'll make it um, to the name of our product website as well in there and then that will make it really really smooth now as we go back to our apps we've now got our more coins app but we now also need to add our tracking page the app i like to use is tracker and it's fairly self self explanatory you just download tracker it's going to cost you four dollars that's all for the month and then all it's going to do is it's going to give you a particular tracking page and i'm going to show a screenshot of one of my own personal tracking pages below because i really see be able to pay four dollars <laughs> now after we've done that we're also going to have our looks reviews option and looks reviews is how you actually make your review options and all you do when you go to looks reviews is you go to import reviews 
You then go to import to locks, you add this to your bookmarks up here, and then you go to your AliExpress option, you click import to locks, and that's gonna import it directly to your product page. Very, very simple. Now one thing people don't talk about is actually customizing your looks reviews. So I like to customize all of these options here. I put an auto publish to four stars and above. Then I'll also put my email timers. I like to put my email time in 10 days after fulfillment, just so the customer gets used to actually using the product. And I'll also customize my email, um, like my email templates and stuff like that below as well. So that's gonna allow you to customize your apps and everything like that. The Beautify, I like to use the free option. So the Beautify is fairly self-explanatory. If you are using the paid option and you like to have an advanced tutorial, just comment below and I'll take you through an advanced tutorial on that as well. But now let's take a look at our website. So our website should be looking fairly smooth right now. We're gonna have our Mosquito Hideaway. We'll also have our tracker page here, or we'll have our tracker page below once we get the track your order options. And then we've also got our add to cart options here. So we're gonna show their cart. If we go to Mosquito Tent, this is gonna take us directly to the Mosquito Tent. As we scroll down, we're gonna see it's looking very, very smooth, right? It's not too busy, which means our website's gonna load very quick. We've got review options at the bottom. I'd prefer to add at least 15 to 25 reviews and I'd make sure at least like 50% of them have images as well, which is gonna make that look better. Then we've got some testimonials, which I'll take up from the reviews above. But like I said, once you improve your reviews above, it's gonna improve your testimonials. And then we've got all of our shipping options there as well. So that's the website product page done. It's really, really smooth, it's really, really sleek. And then what I like to do is I'll go back to the home page and I'll run the product as a test. So what people often talk about as well is they also often talk about, oh, how do I do test orders? I know a lot of people do test orders and stuff like that as well. So I'll go over to the manage section, I'll go down below and I'll enable test mode. And I, then I can simulate paid and failed transactions as well without actually having to spend money on my website, which is often something that people don't talk about as well. Now, that's going to be all the backend stuff. Just make sure you complete your Shopify payments and you also complete your PayPal payments too. Um, and that's going to be everything in terms of the website. We've got a really, really sleek website now. If we just go take a look at it. Click here, customize. We've got a really, really sleek website. We've got three trustworthy colors that we're using as well. So we're using black, white, and our theme. We've also got a guarantee. We've got quotes from our CEO, which also improves trust as well. Then we've got images to do with our website, which is driving it directly back to the product page. And then we scroll down to the bottom. We've also got an invite to our newsletter. And at the bottom, we've also got more trustworthy guarantees as well. Now the way you do with the our story option is you just click our story and I like to add it here in terms of um, a invite from the CEO. I like to actually put my own name because why not? It increases trust. And then in the left hand section here, it's going to drive it directly to the Mosquito 10 or we can search which goes directly to our product as well. Now one thing I'd actually mention here is you want to add in your menu bar something about your technology and really make your product based on a one product store. So if our product's fairly like um, interesting which our product is, I will add some more technology pages in there as well and I'll add like an individual product image and really go into depth on the technology of the product as well just to make the product look a little bit more trustworthy. As you click get yours, that's going to take you to your product page and as you can see it takes us directly to our product page and we can scroll down, we've got options for single, double and king size which I'm going to take you through. Then we've got a really sleek product page too. So one thing that happened before the video cut off earlier is I actually created um, some more pricing options because as you can see when we downloaded our product we had tons and tons of different pricing options. Now if we go over to the bottom it's going to have different options here and what I like to do is I only like to have a minimum of three variants because I don't like giving customers too many options. They've got too many options, they're calculating in their head and there's just too many different things to choose from. So I like to have a single, so a small, medium and large and then I give the size options here. Now if I was actually advertising this product, one thing I'd also do is I'd add some outdoor options here as well just to give more variety, just to, give more variety to the customer and allow the product to have more multi-use which means people are actually going to use the product for more than one, like just for more than one thing as well. Now, as you can see here, we go down to SEO. We're going to edit the SEO for page title and description. I like to make sure it's got some SEO keywords. 
So I'll just go into like uh, SEMrush or some type of SEO um, words and I'll type in like keywords for this product. And I'll add in some keywords, but for now we've got fairly decent ones. We've got mosquito, we've got mosquito net in there, we've got ideal sizes in there. Um, and we've got obviously mesh options in there as well. And then I also shortened the URL handle. So I shortened the URL handle there as well at the bottom to mosquito temp. Instead of it being a long, long um, uh, link, which means we can also add this directly to our Facebook ads as well, which makes it a lot easier. Now, as you go in here, you can see we've got our options here. We can also set a before and after price if we just click edit here. Go over here, we can offer before and after price. I like to only set my price at least 10 to $20 more, because I don't want to make it a massive 50% off. It lowers the value of the product, it lowers the perceived value, and it makes your site seem a lot less trustworthy. And you can see there, we've got a large option as well there. And then if we go back, we've now got our options here to choose from. And then we go down, we've got our options here. And we've now completed our product page. So if we go back here, that's the product page sorted. One thing I like to always do as well, when I start running Facebook ads, is I like to put my link in the Facebook ads as well. So I like to go over here, I'll go to navigation, and I like to set up a URL redirects. And I'll set up a URL redirect for my product page. As you can see, we've already got one URL direct from my massive product page link, straight to our lower product page link here. And I'll create another one. I'll go over here, go to my product page, go to get yours now. If you can notice here, as soon as our customer comes back to our product page, every single button that they click drives them straight back to our product. That's the main thing that you guys need to understand as well. You don't want to have too many different things. You want to always be driving your customer back to your product page as well. So I'll click get yours now. I'm going to drive us back to our product page again. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy here and I'm going to copy our redirect link. When you click glow, that's going to allow you to direct directly to this mosquito tent link. So anybody that goes to this website is going to be redirected to here and that's going to allow it to be really, really sleek. And then after you've set up your redirect link, guys, that's completely everything. You've now completed your website. You've got a sleek website with all your all your links in there it's got tracking pages you can also accept payments and you're pretty much ready to go in the next series what i'm going to be going through is influencer marketing and advertising i'm going to be giving you guys a free facebook ad strategy and it's going to be going through everything step by step if you want to get a link to that i'm going to set the link below and that's going to take you directly to the agency youtube channel where we go through the exact step-by-step -step tutorial for Facebook advertising from not only a beginner strategy all the way to an advanced strategy as well. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I look forward to seeing you guys soon.